Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic is we dismount the springs at the front axle of this 300 SL here in the background. We want to change the rubber seats of the springs to reduce road clearance and to give it a sportier look. The rubber pads presently mounted do have two notches. We want to change them into pads with only one notch. Therefore, they are thinner, about 1 or 1.5 centimeters. There are several methods to remove the front springs. One of them is by using an internal spring tensioner, but you need one with a thin spindle to get through the small hole of about 30 mm in diameter, which they have left at the factory at the cross member for this task. This can get very tricky. We will try another way. We will support the cross member with a lift which is used to hold and support a gearbox. The shock absorbers have to be removed first. We have done that in a previous video. Please stay tuned. We will get our hands dirty right after the introduction. So what did we get accomplished anyway? We have changed the rubber pads off the seats of the front springs to have a little less road clearance by using thinner rubber pads which only one notch. Like this the vehicle is a 1.5 cm closer to the ground. Thank you. 
actually alter a road clearance 1 to 1.5 cm with every notch that you add or take away. I hammer away on this topic and I really have to hammer away. Removal of the springs is dangerous and you have to take your time and be twice as careful as you usually wear. Always make sure that the cross member is supported in a safe manner to avoid injury. It does not matter if you get this job done with a proper internal spring tensioner or any other way, it is dangerous, beware of that. But since the hole in which you slide the tensioner only has a diameter of 30 mm, you are required to have a spindle of less than that in diameter. This is why they decided to use another method. Dismounting the cross member and putting it on a gearbox lift to support it. The cross member will come some 7 to 8 centimeters towards you once you have unbolted it. In this very moment you have to be very careful since the spring is still tensioned. Take your time and take it easy, you are not in a hurry. Once it has no more tension you can easily pull it out of the upper seat first and then lift it off sideways. Now you can remove the rubber pads easily. I will give you a drop down chart of the different combinations of springs and paddings which are recommended by Benz. It depends on the extras and their additional weight to the body of the car. Let me say for example an air conditioning compressor adds another 30 kilos to the weight, a catalytic converter adds another 20 kilos and so on. For example with all that extra weight in your car Benz is recommending 4 notches. Now you can easily knock off at least one notch, even a padding with only two notches is ok to reduce road clearance, a matter of taste, it is always up to you. If you want to have it factory style or add your personal touch to it with less road clearance. I would like to thank you for your time, if you have liked it please give me a thumb up. For a change we were working on a 300 SL so you do not get bored with my black 560. Would highly appreciate your subscription, hope to see you next time with some other topic. You take care. By the way the drop down chart is now on the left hand side. Bye bye everyone.